So what's going? You thought I'd change the intro then, didn't you? Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are here to discuss that the new Fleetwood Town manager slash head coach has finally been announced just under a week after Scott Brown got sacked as Fleetwood Town boss. We have a new gaffer in charge. We have a new man, that man being Lee Johnson of Oldham Athletic, Barnsley, Bristol City, Sunderland and Hibernian in Scotland. Again, Lee Johnson, 42 years of age, son of Gary Johnson, the former football manager as well, uh, of, you know, Torquay United and Cheltenham over the years as well. So again, a footballing family. We'll be discussing my thoughts on the move. Is it an improvement or is it a downgrade on Scott Brown as well? But again, if you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. We're close to 12,000 subscribers now. And again, this is a League One and Fleetwood Town channel. So if you could help us out, That'd be massively appreciated. So Fleetwood have brought an experienced name in to the frame, to the football club. Fleetwood Town past managers have a history of being their first job, a younger option, somewhere the where the club can build. Mickey Mellon was his first role in football. Graham Alexander came in a similar boat as well. Then we appointed Stephen Presley, who had been around the block a little bit, you know, had, had a bit of experience with Coventry City, you know, in turmoil there. Then we appointed Uwe Rosler. Now, that was an unbelievable appointment, obviously, of Leeds, Brentford and Wigan at the time. And since leaving the football club, he actually has got to manage in the Europa League with Malmo um, as well. And I think he managed Dusseldorf as well. So again, a big name where Fleetwood brought Uwe Rosler to the football club. And I still miss him to this day. Put it that way. John Sheridan, another experienced name, but that was with 13 games to go with the club inside the bottom four. John Sheridan did his job. Then Joey Barton, uh, came into the football club. Then we did appoint Simon Grayson again, similar to Sheridan, it worked for a time, and then unfortunately he was let go. Stephen Craney and Scott Brown, two Scots that came in again with their first roles in a first team environment. So again, it's a bit of a different appointment for the football club to, to go with someone like Lee Johnson. Lee Johnson was let go by Hibbs or Hibernian. Just earlier this season, they were bottom of the league. They hadn't won a game. They were two or three games into the season. And they were hammered by Villa over two legs in the Europa League qualifiers. And let's be honest, Villa against Hibernian, it's a big difference in budgets and playing style. So it was always going to happen. But Lee Johnson started his career, you know, over at Oldham Athletic. Did really well. Got him to a playoffs. Left for Barnsley. Did a steadiest job there. And then... Bristol City is kind of where he made his fortune. Now, Lee Johnson did a pretty decent job there, stabilised them in the Championship and had some good results over the years in cup competitions and league competitions, but also had a bit of a nickname called Streaky Lee Johnson. And I refer to this in my League One videos where, if you don't know what that means, basically Lee Johnson has the habit of going to get three or four, maybe five positive results. That's good. However... He then does the opposite of getting three, four, five bad results and then you're in trouble. However, that could do Fleetwood some good this year because Fleetwood just need three or four or five good results to get away from that bottom four and away from the pack and back up to the mid-table where we want to be, where most clubs, you know, would settle for in League One this season. That would do Fleetwood Town some good this year, but obviously we can't afford a bad run because then we'll be cut adrift because we're only on one point after six games as well. Lee Johnson is someone that is set to impress in his interview. And again, you can see this with his interviews over the years. They have been a little bit peculiar, some could say. But again, very interesting. And you can kind of see that he's got the IQ. And a lot of football fans uh, on social media this morning, when the news was set to be announced as Fleetwood Town boss, said he's got a Poundland philosophy, but a Harrods ego. And again, sometimes at Fleetwood, I think we need that. We need a bit of a confidence, someone that can drill that into the players. But we need that, that philosophy <clears throat> to match. So I think, it's a, I think it's a steady appointment at this moment in time. At Bristol City, he did a decent job. Unfortunately, 
the managerisms of football, it doesn't always work out. He left the football club. Then he joined Sunderland. Now, his time at Sunderland, at one stage, they went 12 unbeaten. I'm pretty sure they were scoring goals, clean sheets, streaky Lee effect, where they can pull off good results, keep teams out. And this was in Skybit League One. However, they had difficulty against some of the better sides in League One just a couple of seasons ago, where he was manager of Sunderland just two years ago. Um, it feels like a lifetime ago. Um, but again, I think they lost 4 0 away at Portsmouth, they lost 6 away at Bolton. And then obviously got sacked the very next day um, after that 6-0 drumming. Um, he did a decent enough job. He left foundations for Alex Neal to go and then win promotion with that squad. He built a pretty good squad. They got sacked when he was third in the table. They finished fifth. Although they went up, it just shows you that they didn't have it plain and simple till the end of the season. So overall, he did a solid job at Sunderland. In League One, expectations were high. I know a Sunderland fan was saying, well, he wasn't great and he, he had a big ego and the football might not have been great. But over a period of time, he got results and he won the JPT, the Papa John's Trophy under him. So that's a pretty good, you know, ego that, you know, that he's won silverware recently as well. So uh, I think they beat Tramier at Wembley. Um, but they have to, you know, get over that line. So... Again, another positive of Lee Johnson coming to this football club. Then at Hibs, only lasted, I think, just over 12 months and didn't do the best of jobs. Um, you know, it was solid last season, didn't start this season very well. But again, he's been, you know, let go. Scott Brown's been let go. And Scott Brown's actually been toyed to go over to Hibs and take Lee Johnson's role. So how funny would it be if Lee Johnson was announced the Fleetwood Town Manager, like it has... And Scott Brown went over to Hibs and managed them. How you know weird would that be? A crossover with swapped um, managers. Do I think this is an improvement? I do. You know, got to remember Lee Johnson's only forty-two years of age, and he's managed a big portions of game. Got just under a forty percent win record. Got just over fifty at Sunderland as well. And you, Sunderland should have that in Scarlet League. Well, let's be honest. But again. He did steady jobs at Oldham. He did a steady job, a real steady job for a number of years at Bristol City. Might not have ended too well, but again, did, did all right. Sunderland, not too bad. Didn't pull up many trees, but did a job. And Hibs, unfortunately, didn't work out. But the expectations of Sunderland, the expectations of Barnsley, Bristol City, are, you know, are as high. Whereas when he first went into Oldham, they're kind of similar where they are at Fleetwood. Club doesn't have a big budget. They have a decent training ground, a good philosophy, a good academy behind you. You've got a board that will hopefully back you and give you time. Um, you know, Scott Brown did get time. He did get over here in the job. He went through some really difficult spells where he didn't go, where he lost four or five in a row. But the club were in the bottom four at one stage last year. The club gave him that opportunity to get us out, and he did. Would he have got us out of it this time? He might have done. I don't think he would have, if I'm honest with you. So I do think this is an improvement that he's more experienced, more probably tactically aware um, of you know what could go wrong and what will go, you know, what could go right as well. And um, what will his first responsibility will be? Winning games of football. It sounds so simple and so easy, but we have to start winning games of football and quick. We forgot how to win games of football. We do look a good side at times. We are creating opportunities. We're just making one mistake, not really cutting anything at the other end, and that's our biggest issue. So again, Lee Johnson has that on his mind. And again, I think overall it's a good appointment. I did want Carl Robinson. I am going to be honest with that. He was probably on my top 10. I listed 10. Cowley's more, I think those two are very unrealistic. Liam Richardson, um, Dean Holden was actually watching our game the other day. Um, Carl Robinson was number one. Um, again, um, there was there was so many that was kind of on my shortlist that I'd say, oh, I wouldn't mind him. I wouldn't mind him. Pete Wilde was also mentioned um, the other day as well, but a bit more unrealistic. But again, he comes, he's now got a full week to work with the team, which is very positive as well. So Lee Johnson is the new Fleetwood Town manager. And Fleetwood Town have got a history of unlikable managers. Um, I don't think Lee Johnson is very well liked by the football community. Joey Barton, Simon Grayson, uh, Scott Brown. 
And, you know, those types, Stephen Presley wasn't very well liked as well. Scottish and, you know, big, you know, you know, you know, big, big for them as well. And you know, Stephen Craney, quite similar as well. So, again, it's a good move for the football club. Winning games is important, but what can I expect? I want to see passion. I want to watch my football team play again because I didn't want to go and watch us play the last few weeks. So I think Lee Johnson will bring that back. He needs to connect and engage with supporters. Yes, he'll give, he'll give very funny interviews, but I think Scott Brown was very different in that where... He didn't give too much away and you could kind of see where he'd been a bit more media trained. I think Lee Johnson's a bit more rough around the edges in that regard. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, get notifications on. Again, all you guys are, are liking and subscribing at the moment is massively appreciated. And what's your thoughts on this move? Do you think it's successful? Will he keep Fleetwood in League One? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Up the cards, up the sky at League One. Thanks for watching.